Get up and go with Duncan and Carly on demand. All right, ladies and gents, let's get the show started, folks. It's time to rock and roll. It's the Get Up and Go Show. And today is... Today is National Cream Filled Donut Day. That's the best kind. Uh, way better than the freaking jelly filled. I mean, jelly is pretty good, but the cream filled is way better. You're right. I just don't like anything inside my donut, okay? <laughs> 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 if I had to choose, I'm picking neither of them. <laughs> It's also National Eat a Hoagie Day. Okay. National Parents Day Off. Ditch your kids. Good luck with that. <laughs> National Coloring Day. National Cheerleading Day. And just for you, Hug a Crabby Stranger Day. <laughs> just for you. Lots of people hugging. You just, you just love guy. hugs so much. Keep your you? hands to yourself, you <laughs> weirdo. <laughs> it's coming back. 30 grand in your hands. Forget that side hustle you planned. You are never going to do it anyway. And prepare for fall fun, fall fashions, and fall funding with $30,000. Download our app now and starting this Monday at 8 a.m., you could win cash with 30 grand in your hands. Open our site and app for more. It's Duncan and Carly. YouGov asked 1,000 U.S. adults about their favorite ice cream flavor. I've got the top five answers on the board. Go. Uh, vanilla? Vanilla is number one. Chocolate? Number two. Strawberry? Strawberry is number four. Oh, what could be in between there? Mm-hmm. Mm. Rocky Road. It's in the top 15 or 20, though. Uh, mint chocolate chip. Also, d- also in the top 21. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream is number three. Okay. You have one more guess and one more in the top five. Uh, cookie dough, cookie batter. Is It is in the top 21, though, but not in the top five. What is it? The one you missed is chocolate chip, number five. Oh, just plain chocolate chip. Okay. Yeah. Now, all of these kind of make sense to me. Like all the, we have a whole list of the top twenty-one. Twenty-one ice cream flavors. Uh, the top twenty-one favorite ice cream flavors. Okay. In the country, you can check that out on our app. The only one that really was strange to me was butter pecan coming in at number six. Oh, that's high. Yeah, but, butter really, pecan it's is good. Good, but shouldn't be number six. No, that's like a number eighteen. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, check out the full rankings right now of our favorite ice cream flavors on the 106.9 KROC apps. We'd love to see 30 grand in your hand. How would you spend it? A down payment on a house? A brand new ride? How about you pay off debt or student loans? Or how about you spoil yourself with a dream vacation? Or a new wardrobe? Or years of massages and mani pedis? Yeah, if you really want it. Download our app now and starting this Monday at 8 a.m., you could win cash with 30 grand in your hand. Yeah. Open our site and app for more. This is 106.9 KROC with Duncan and Carly. Search 106.9 KROC to find us and follow us on Facebook. We're talking this morning on our Facebook page about mental health. Coming up at 740, Carly's got seven things that you can do instantly to improve your mental health. And a lot of listeners are sharing what they do on our Facebook page. Good morning, Amber. What's something that you do when you're kind of feeling overwhelmed? Um, I like to spend time by myself. Mm. Oh, just be alone? Yeah. I have two kids and I work with kids. And so spending time by myself is very important. Absolutely. Do you like to read or do you go for a walk or is there anything? I go like, for walks. That's, yeah. Play with my dog outside, anything. Oh, I do like getting outside and getting some fresh air. Give us a call right now. 507-281-2400. What is something that you do to take care of your mental health? Carly has got the seven things that you can do instantly to improve how you're feeling. Coming up at 740. It's Duncan and Carly with What's Trending in Minnesota on the 106.9 KROC app. So Google, you've heard of Google? The Google. The Google put out trends on what pumpkin spice foods Americans are searching for. Mm. The most searched pumpkin spice food in yes. each state. Yes. You got your pumpkin spice Oreos. Oh, yes. You that got sounds really good. Pumpkin spice Cheerios. Mm, okay. Pumpkin spice goldfish. Ooh, no. And here in Minnesota, pumpkin spice tacos. No. Mm-mm. You say gross? Mm-hmm. I'm intrigued. I no, Mm-mm. 
That doesn't sound good at all. We're apparently obsessed with it. A bunch of people are searching the recipe. We put up the recipe on our app, but it's basically you make real, you make like traditional taco. It's like you would at home. Uh huh. Instead of taco seasoning, you use pumpkin spice. Nope. No, no. I'm see. I'm a big like uh, sweet and sa- uh, sweet and salty uh, guy. I know you are. So I think I might like this. <laughs> I would not. The only thing I question is the toppings. What do you put on top of it? Yeah, because I don't know if cheese would go. I don't. I mm. don't think salsa would go. Mm-mm. What kind of cheese would work with pumpkin? I don't know. <laughs> maybe some brie. Yeah, maybe right. That'd be some weird tacos though. We are apparently obsessed with pumpkin spice tacos. There are also pumpkin spice dessert tacos. Okay, that I'd try. So you take your tortilla and you butter it up and you put the pumpkin spice and then you heat it up a little bit. Yeah. And then you use whipped cream or ice cream for filling. Yeah. That sounds pretty good, right? That makes sense to me. Pumpkin (laughs) spice is like dessert, you know? Yeah, I kind of think of it that way, too. When I get a pumpkin spice latte, it's kind of like I'm treating myself. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, apparently pumpkin spice taco is all the rage in Minnesota. No, not at my house. (laughs) (laughs) Don't knock it until you try it because this recipe has five-star reviews. Okay. How many five-star reviews? Uh, Like two? Okay. (laughs) No, I don't know how many it has. Actually, I didn't look at that. Okay, okay. Uh, But you can find the recipe right now on the 106.9 KROC app. Duncan and Carly on 106.9 KROC. Celebrity sound bites. On 106.9 KROC. We're really a family, and and I don't I don't really think I can put into words how much the four of you mean to me. That's JT talking about his bandmates and in sync. I can't believe they're back together. The family is getting back together for one new song called Better Place. For now. Which will be in the uh, new Trolls Band Together movie. As of right now, no plans to tour. Sad. Or put another album out or anything like that. Sad. They're going to see the success of this and they're going to be like, you know what? Yes, we will go on tour. I think most of the band is like, yes, we want to do this. I think there's one guy. JT. Yes. (laughs) That's like, you know, I have enough money. I don't need to do that. I really think he should do it. I think he should do it. That'd be so great. We'll see what happens. Speaking of tours, though, Olivia Rodrigo is going on tour. She just announced it like what? Yesterday? Mm Mm-hmm. And she said she's super excited to share her new music. Yeah, I'm actually so excited. I feel like I've been working on these songs for so long and, you know, going through all this stuff for uh, for a while. And so I think it's going to be really cathartic to finally, like, share it and have it out in the world. And she is going to be in Minnesota. She's going to be here in March. Pre-sale starts next week on her tickets. Hopefully she doesn't crash any sites or anything oh like that. Oh, my gosh. Um, and there is going to be something new for tickets called Silver Star Tickets. They're only going to cost $20. How does this work? And they're for seats located next to each other, limited two of these Silver Star Tickets per order. So, like, if it's just two of you going, perfect. The catch is that the exact seat locations are not revealed until you pick up your tickets on the day of the show. Oh, so it's a gamble. the box office. You could be in the Noah's Bleeds, or you could be on the floor. Yes. I kind of like that. Imagine imagine if they were like, and you have the seats that you can't see the stage. <laughs> yeah, obstructed view. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I've had that God. several times. So annoying. But That'd for 20 un- bucks? That would still be unfortunate. I, I would go stand at the merch line the whole you time. so I could see in the aisle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Duncan and Carly in the morning on 106.9 KROC. So Carly's got seven things that are proven to improve your mental health instantly. Before we get to that, what is something that you do, Carly? Having a bad day. Uh-huh. Need to reset, need to recharge. What do you do? It really depends on what it like how how bad my day is or what it is that's gone wrong that's like affecting my mental health that's fair so it could be going to get a coffee could be um i need to be alone and so like maybe i'll go for a walk or maybe i'll i don't know go sit by myself somewhere in my house and i can pout a little bit i can just tell my husband like don't talk to me. Yeah, leave me alone. I need to have a little pity party right I now. I don't and have children, and so I don't need to worry about them coming yeah. and finding me. Just worry about the cats, which if they come find me, that's fine. That's good, yeah. <laughs> 507-281-2400. What is something you do when you need a little self-care? 
for me, it's exercise. Like, I'll go for a run. Mm -hmm. And I'll go for a long run so I can stay away from everybody for a while. Yeah, right. Um, And that always helps. Like, you get that runner's high afterwards, you feel better after you exercise. Well, and, I mean, just being away from people for a while so you can be with yourself and your own and, thoughts, and your thoughts yeah. is great because otherwise outside influence can be a real problem. <laughs> okay, seven things that you can do instantly to improve your mental health. We'll get to that in a second, but first let's go to the phone lines. Good morning, Leanne. What's something that you do? Oh, pedicure. Ooh, pedicure, yes. Yeah. Okay. I love that. <laughs> Good morning, Danielle. What's one thing that you do? Spend less time with my little children when they're crabby. <laughs> Avoid your kids. Yes. That's hilarious. You know, yeah, they are two and five, and so they have their moments of crabby and fighting, and I go outside, and I just, nope, mom's yeah. playing on the playground, not you. I love it. That's a good idea, though. Put, put yourself in timeout. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> but outside. So what are some people saying on Facebook, Carly? There's lots of different things that people do. So, um, oh, I lost it. Janet. Janet said that uh, reading a book, watching her favorite TV show okay. is the way that she has a little self-care. Um, Lisa says sleep. What I'm There's a trend here. Peace and quiet is something that you hear all the time, right? Caitlin said literally and absolutely nothing. Yeah, that's <laughs> the thing, right? If you need to reset your brain, I think you need a quiet atmosphere. Well, Michelle said listen to upbeat music. Okay, so she goes the other way with it. Which like yeah, if you if you're having I suppose I work a, out, so I'm I'm listening to some I suppose that's true, yeah. Yeah. It still drowns everything else out though. Yeah. is the thing. So the seven things that you should do to improve your mental health, Carly. What are they? So if you're having a bad time, your mental health is not quite in check, you should limit your alcohol consumption. Okay. Eat healthier. So choose like the veggies or the fruit over those. You chips will feel that better. Really good. You a couple will hours later, you'll be like, I ah, made a good choice. Yes. Exercise, same kind of thing. Get a good night's sleep. That'll improve your mental health. Quit smoking if that's something that you do. That can help. Just moving in general, even if it's not like exercising like going for a casual walk that happens like all the like time here like we're stuck in front of a computer all day yes. so it's like i just need to get up and go for a walk we'll go <laughs> just like take a lap around the block around uh -huh. the office you know somewhere and then the last tip for um improving your mental health be social because sometimes just getting out and changing your environment and talking to people can help well i think we all get in that rut too it's like i want to go home after work and just sit on the couch mm. no go hang out with your friends sometimes it's it's better to yeah to go talk to other people yeah it's Duncan and carly on 106.9 krlc good morning who is this this is casey so when you're having a rough day what's something that you do for a little self-care i love to take like hot bubble bath mm. and just relax Ooh, that sounds so nice do you have kids yeah Yes, I do. Do they leave you alone? Because my wife tries that, and she gets so angry at me because the kids still find a way to the bathroom door knocking on it. Mom, Mom, we need you. Yes, yes, they still do. I have a six-year-old son, and I can lock the door, and that little boy knows how to reverse the lock from the outside and come in to yeah. go. Oh, my gosh, that's so funny. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Why in chat? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Bless all of you moms out there. Yeah, right. Thank you. No subscription fee here. Listen to us for free anytime on our app. There's news with Duncan and Carly on 106.9 KROC. The top 10 finalists for the National Toy Hall of Fame have been released for this year. Okay. The contenders are the Ken doll which I think should already be in there, but whatever. Barbie well, was inducted a long time Barbie ago. Barbie rules the world. Yeah, so if Ken doesn't no get in... No respect for the men. Okay, <laughs> then. So Ken is in the running. Uh, baseball cards. Okay. Battleship. Bingo is in the running for the Toy Hall of Fame. Boppets. How are these all not in there? I know. Cabbage Patch Kids. Cabbage Patch Kids is not in there. I know. Choose your own adventure game books. Oh, those are the best. Connect Four, Little Tykes Cozy Coop, and Nerf. 
Those How are, is Nerf not in the I Toy Hall of Fame? No, those are all in the running for the Toy Hall of Fame for this year, though. I think they should all get in, but whatever. <laughs> There are researchers saying that if you sleep in dirty socks, it's like sleeping in a toilet. What? <laughs> this is, they're saying Wait, that. I've never even thought about like the socks that I wear to bed. I know. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Experts are saying that unclean socks often contain harmful bacteria like those found in cockroaches and their droppings. So it just can be so disgusting that it's worse than sleeping in a toilet. So it gets in underneath the sheets and then it like, and then it just like stays there i suppose even you if breathe you it in don't and then wear you, your socks ugh. it increases the risk of infection if you sleep in dirty socks but you're so supposed to change your socks change your socks well, I guess every day an issue for me because i don't wear socks i can't fall asleep in socks oh really yeah I if can't. it's cold enough i will wear socks to bed hopefully they're clean <laughs> they're not <laughs> okay well, <laughs> they will be from now on <laughs> And finally, there's a Minnesota teacher who has a super cool opportunity that she's going to be able to take advantage of coming up in November. She gets to travel with National Geographic. How cool is that? How did this happen? So there is a fellowship that teachers can apply for okay. through National Geographic. They do this every year and it allows teachers to travel the world. They have different trip options like to the Galapagos. You could go to, I think, Indonesia is one of them. Uh, places in Europe, Antarctica, like all Free over. Free trip. Uh, and you go with the scientist at Nat Geo. Yeah. And you learn. Mm-hmm. And That's you, cool. So this trip that this teacher is going on, her name's Laura. She's a fifth grade teacher in Prior Lake. Uh, she gets to go to the Galapagos for 10 days after Thanksgiving, learn and absorb as much as she can all hands-on stuff, and then she gets to take it back to the classroom and the community. Like, that's the whole point of this fellowship is to take it back with her. Yeah, yeah. Everything that she's learned. That's really awesome. This is the fifth time that she's applied for this fellowship, by the way. And she finally got it. So she's teaching her kids about the Galapagos before her trip, but also teaching them, don't give up on something that you're really aspiring for. what a cool message. Yeah, yeah, right? Learn more about her and get more local news right now on the 106.9 KROC app. Duncan and Kylie in the morning on 106.9 KROC. What time do you and your husband eat dinner? Um, We usually go for 6.30. Ooh, that's so late. That's what he says, too. I'm like, what are you talking about? (laughs) So, like, at my house, it's like 5 or 5.30. And that's only because we have kids uh, that eat lunch at school at, like, 10.45. Mm. So, by the time they get home, they're starving already. Yes. Uh, So, we have early dinner at my house. I think we usually... I know for sure my husband would eat earlier than 6.30. I think we did as well. When you were growing up? At my house when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The cats eat at 6.30, so, you know. So that's when you we eat. We got to yeah. eat at 6.30, And the bosses too. eat. Yeah, it's right. Like, exactly, okay. yeah. <laughs> Family dinners are important. <laughs> Eating together, man. Uh, <laughs> no, there was just on, seriously, there was one time that I just realized that we didn't have a set dinner time, and so that could really screw us over, and we'd be eating at like eight o'clock because I didn't plan dinner properly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Because I'm usually the one that's cooking, and so I was like, I just need to like pick a time and then plan when I need to start food to like eat around that time, and so just six thirty was the time that I planned. You have to do that, otherwise, you think about it, like you're not hungry at the same time every day, right? But you need to do that, otherwise, you need to make sure that. That dinner is ready to go. Otherwise, you're eating at 8 o'clock. <laughs> uh-huh. Yep. And people are angry. Yes. <laughs> uh, so they say the pandemic has changed the way that we eat. People are eating earlier now. Interesting. Way earlier. Hmm. Uh, the number of diners eating around 5 o'clock has doubled since 2019. Interesting. And restaurants are also closing their kitchens earlier, around 9 o'clock during the weekdays. Okay, yeah. When they would stay open until 10 or 11. Mm-hmm. I kind of have noticed that. But, I mean, who's eating at 9 o'clock at night? That's the rare okay. occasion, right? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Speaking of eating out, these are going to sell out so fast. We have so many deals mm-hmm. on SeizeTheDeal.com. We really do. Our Paladar, which is a new place over by the government center. It's so good. Have you eaten there? Yes. What did you get? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good, I can't remember. But it was really good. I do remember that we, so we got a few drinks, we got an appetizer, we got like our, our meal, um, whatever the meal was, was really good. But I specifically remember we ordered the hummus as our appetizer. Okay. My husband is obsessed with hummus. Okay. And he's like, 
this is the best hummus I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It was really, really And good. the atmosphere there is really the cool. The atmosphere is great. If you want to try it, you can try our Paladar right now with a half-off gift card. Get that at SeizeTheDeal.com. We also have half-off gift cards to the Tap House, Soralina's, and Victoria's. Lots of dining deals for you at SeizeTheDeal.com. Duncan and Carly, weekday mornings on 106.9 KROC.